All right, guys, so what we're going to do here now is apply a roughness layer and a metallic layer to our objects. So let's just go in here really quick and let's just get started. So I'm going to make a new roughness and we're going to call this one paint roughness. So let's go here, name it paint. There we go. 24, 20, 1024 is the size we want. The color, and we can just change it here while we're at it. I want to leave the color to say 0.3. Let's just say that that's what we want for the roughness of this paint. We can leave the alpha because we're going to need it for layering. And there we go. So that kind of shows us the paint layer and it looks pretty shiny. That's pretty close to what we want. And then with that, what we can do is add a, another roughness layer and we'll call this glass. There we go, glass. And then let's change this color. And this is gonna be very down almost to one. And let's just put 0.1 because I don't wanna, you know, make it too crazy. Now let's add a metallic layer. And this one will basically count for the paint. So let's name it paint. There we go. And the color, because metallic, a metallic map basically is black and white, it's gonna be black because it's not metal. So as soon as we apply that, there we go. So that's what the paint's supposed to look like. And if we wanna change the how the paint looks um, in the roughness, we can change it. But for right now, that's basically what metal's supposed to, or what metal doesn't look like. Sorry, this is what paint looks like because it's not metal. Let's add another metallic map and let's name this glass. And let's again, put this down to zero because it's not metal. And there we go. So let's go to the shading tab and we're gonna kind of copy this format and apply it to the other areas. So let's go here, let's bring this down. And let's see, this is the paint metal. And let me just kind of move this up. This is paint and this is paint. So we have the roughness and we have the metallic. We have the glass metallic as well, as, as well as the roughness. So I'm just gonna start putting them here and aligning them to kind of fill in space. Here's the paint and then glass. Bring this down, eh, let's put it around there. So what we need next is these kind of three nodes. I'm gonna put this a little further back so it, it's a lot more kind of closer to each other. I'm gonna duplicate this one and let's put it around here. Let's do another one, do the same right here and let's put it around there. I'm just gonna move these further down so we're not kind of conflicting anything. And let's grab these, bring them down to around here. And let's do the same and I'm just gonna keep holding shift so I select everything, including the roughness maps right here. And let's bring those down as well. And there we go. So kind of complicated, but will really help us out with making our layers look a lot more interesting. So if you want to kind of cut these right here, the best way to do that is holding control and right click till you see a knife. Just kind of cross over the lines you don't want anymore. And then there you go, it'll take care of it for you. The metallic we've set to one. So for this piece right here, this will be the metalness node for the original part over here. It's set to one, so let's put it to one on this side, like so. The roughness is set to 0.5. I think we can bring that down to, uh, let's say 0.4. Actually, let's put it to 0.2. See how that looks like. All right, that looks pretty good. And then from here, we could change the roughness to 
0.2 on this node. So that was actually pretty close already. There you go. Oh, accidentally did that. And then what we'll do is kind of just copy that same layout. So glass will be set to the same method and then following the RGB mix node, it'll kind of do the same thing. So let's go over here, put this to color two, put the alpha to the factor, put the color for the paint to color two and that alpha to the factor. And let's do it one more time. And we're just basically establishing a hierarchy with our pieces. So this will be the metalness, plug it into the metal. And then we'll plug in the roughness over here to the roughness right there. So with that done, just let, let Blender kind of take a second to do that. Let's go to the texture paint. And let's focus first on the metalness. So the metallic right now is set to the paint. The only problem with that is we kind of need to have the paint show on these pieces that are actually made of metal. Or, I mean, the whole plane's made of metal, but since the paint is kind of covering the plane like this, and some pieces are showing here, we need to kind of paint it in. Let's grab the paintbrush, and let's just go to Erase Alpha. And as soon as we start erasing, let me just make sure I have the area selected. Yeah, there we go. So we started erasing this alpha. You can kind of tell nothing's happening yet, but if we were to also erase the alpha of the glass, it starts showing up. So what I'm gonna do with the glass alpha is I'm going to erase most of it and then paint this area here black. Let's go to the fill, remove it. Oops, <laughs> accidentally used the mix. Let's go erase. And then let's add the alpha right here. There we go. Just gonna go in here, make sure that I take care of this one right here. There we go. So now when I start painting into the metal metallic right there, it's gonna sh start showing. Let's just go in here really quick and start fixing these as well, adding an alpha to these textures. There we go. There we go. All right. So with that done, let's go over to the paint metallic and let's just kind of take a look and see what happens if we just erase alpha everything. So there you go. <laughs> it makes everything metallic. So let's just go in here and let's just start painting in the area we want to, you know, make metallic. Let's grab the brush and let's go to erase alpha. And let's just start erasing it out. There we go. Slowly but surely, I'm kind of just erasing all the parts of the alpha that I don't need at this point. And make sure that your symmetry is set to X. Um, if you don't, you're gonna have to, you know, paint twice and that's gonna suck. So just forget, don't just forget, just don't forget. 
All right, let's go in here, start painting in the metal. And look at that. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, so let's kind of clean up this one right here. Let's use the line method. All right, there we go. There we go. Kind of clean up here. Oh, careful. Don't want to start showing paint where it's not actually supposed to be. Let's bring this over here. Let's paint into here. There we go. And there we are. All right, and then let's just go over here really quick and let's kind of clean this up a little. Let's add alpha, change the stroke to dots. Let's kind of clean this up really quick because now we're going to use the blur or the soften. Let's go in here and let's just kind of soften this because again, that's kind of what we did with the paint. We kind of need to do that right here too. And then let's go back to the brush, add alpha. So kind of clean this area up a little bit. Now let's just go back to the line method. All right. All right. So there's the metal. And then we can come over here to these pieces and just kind of paint them in as well. Let me change the method to dots. And I'm going to paint here and just kind of in these spaces. So kind of, I kind of start knowing where they are. All right. We have, Add alpha, not erase alpha. There we go. Right there. Over here. And then let's add this as well to the area. Let's make this a line to kind of clean this up right here. All right, just give it a second. All right, there we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I see to kind of clean this up right here. Let's change the stroke method to dots. All 
There we go. Let's come over here. Let's clean this in. There we go. So now all the pieces that are metal have metal. And then we can go over to the glass metallic, or not the glass metallic, we can go over to the roughness now. So with the roughness, I'm going to come in here and just kind of start painting out pieces. So there we go. Let's start, as soon as we start seeing it, we can see that the glass starts showing up where it's supposed to be glass. So I'm just going to come in here and just kind of roughly paint out the area that's glass. And there you go. You can already start seeing a difference of the glass material. All right, so what we'll do here now is let's go to the glass roughness and hmm, we'll do the same thing where we kind of just remove all the alpha like that and then just kind of focus on the areas that we are going to add an alpha. Sorry, I had to erase alpha. Let's go to add alpha. All right, there we go. Let's come over here to this one. Let's just add the alpha for these. There we go, right there. All right, so those are added. We just kind of need to start uh, painting in the color of the glass there. So from here, what we can do is we can go back to the paint roughness and just start painting in or painting out the alpha. All right, there we go. There we go, and let's add alpha now to kind of clean up that area right here. Let's go back to erase alpha. Start just kind of cutting out right here the detail we need. There we go. And then let's just add alpha to kind of clean up right here. Let's change the stroke to line. And I just want to clean this up a little bit because we did get a little bit of a conflicting texture work right there. All right. Let's go in here. Let's go back to the dots. Let's erase alpha. There we go. And there we're almost done. Let me just make sure I got everything I need. All right, there we go. From here, let's clean this up as well. All right, I'm getting there pretty close now. Oh, careful. All right, 
And then let's just kind of go in here and finish this off. Let's take a quick look. All right, there we go. Clean that up. And let's go in here. All right, so there we go. We have the the roughness of the glass showing up where it needs to be. All right. So let's just take a look at this one last time. All right, so we need to change the color of the glass. Let's go over here. And let's change this color to something darker, something that can't really be seen. And I'm thinking, let's kind of take a sample of this first. Let's bring this down even darker. Go to mix. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So if anything, we can bring it just a little bit higher. So let's go to the value and set it to 0.15. Eh, that's actually nice too. Well, let's put it back to what it was. I kind of like how dark that is. All right, so with that done, let's kind of readjust the color of the plane. So let's go over here and let's change the color. But I need to be careful because let me just kind of choose the color real quick. If I just go that and do that, it kind of paints in everything we already worked so hard to clean out. So I need to go over here to the pieces themselves. And I just need to be careful with this area as well because I can accidentally start kind of just painting in everything. Let me lower this to something like, oh, well, let's leave it like around there. <laughs> okay, not black, but you know what I mean. So there, it starts kind of applying the texture with the kind of alphas we made in mind. Although now we do that, we kind of need to go in there and blur it out a little bit, but it's fine, we can work with that. Let's sample this texture one more time. And let's bring this down to 0 0.2. I'm gonna snap these in place. See how that looks. You know what? I'm a fan of this more now. So I'm gonna do this and just kind of start applying the color in every other area. I'm just literally choosing everything and just putting in the new color. There we go. There, right there. Yeah, all right, there too. So there we go. Nice color too. I like that. It's actually really nice. All right. So now let's just kind of go in here and let's blur this in. So we kind of have a nice transition. Let's go to soften and select this right here until it just starts softening up again. There we go. And then with that done, Let's take a look at this one last time. All right, so let's go back to the glass color and let's just start putting the color in for the other areas that we missed. Let's choose the color. There we go. Now let's just <laughs> color this in because we kind of forgot about them. 
All right, we have it set to add alpha. There we go. There we go. All right, so not that's taken care of. Let's just go back into the shading editor and let's take a look what we got going. So I think we can actually change a bit of the metal here. Just a tad bit because it's a little too dark, I think it is. So we can change the roughness. Maybe to something a little higher. Obviously, if we start affecting it like so, it starts getting a little too crazy. Let me just make sure we got this working right. Okay, so that's working. And then this is working as well. Let me control Z that really quick. I don't think I see this working as intended. Parts of it are working. Yeah, we have a bit of roughness here that we need to clean up. But this part isn't actually working like I wanted it to. Yeah, so we kind of need to go in and fix this really quick. Let me just set this roughness to one so we, I can start telling where it is. And let's take a look at the painting for our, or the painting, the roughness of our glass and our metal. So, all right, that's removed. If I go in here, yep. It adds roughness to everything. But if I go over to the glass, yeah, nothing here is selected either. Oh, right, well, there it is. Just gotta clean this up. And let's just erase alpha. Now let's add alpha. Hmm. Actually, no, let's erase alpha. I thought that was kind of taking it away, but I think what we need to do is go over to the paint and there it is. <laughs> That's why. All right. So paint roughness we can honestly paint this in here put a mix and already I'm starting to see yeah we needed to kind of adjust some of these things really quick so I'm already painting it in and it's not giving me what I wanted let's bring this down Point three. All right, there we go. Good thing I remember the color or the value. So there we go. Now I'm realizing we need to paint this in or erase the alpha for this now as well. Let's go over to erase alpha and sure enough, <laughs> there it is. So let's just do this one more time and we can honestly be kind of quick about this. Roughness is important, but we don't have to be completely accurate like we have been before. So there we go. And I kind of already know where some of these are starting to show up anyways, so we can kind of take care of them like that. And then if I remember correctly, this one is an alpha and these also need alphas. And then I'm gonna go in here, use a line tool or line stroke method. Kind of just draw this out. There we go. Now let's change this back to dot. Let 
There we go. Let's go over here, and let's just kind of start painting this in as well. There we go. And then we'll just use the line method again to kind of clean this out. So let's go to the line, like so. And then let's just kind of start closing out these pieces here. There we go. Let's go here. All right. Let's go here, kind of clean that there. Awesome. Wait for Blender to catch up really quick because <laughs> there you go. It was just having a little hiccup. All right. And then let's go here really quick. Awesome. So there we go. We have all the pieces done and basically ready. Last thing I want to just do is just soften this really quick. So it's kind of aligned with everything else that we've been doing. And there we go. So now let's go back to the shading and let's affect the roughness layer. Okay, so roughness, there we go. And we can change this to what we want. So we had it set to one. I kind of want to put it, let's see. How does 0.5 look? Let me bring this down. All right, so we're only affecting this one. Let's bring it to point. You know, we need to put it to point two. That's probably the best we can, not best we can do, but that's probably the best capturing of metal over paint. Because while the paint is kind of close to being shiny, it's not as reflective as the metal that we have here. So that's kind of what I'm trying to work on. The glass. As you can see, it's not metallic and it's way more shinier than the paint. Or yeah, way more shinier than the paint. And it has its own color to it too. If we really wanted to, we could kind of change the roughness of the paint, but I mean, you can even tell right here. Let me go over here and change the rotation of the sphere. We can tell where the paint ends and where the glass kind of reflects. So we don't really need to change anything there. So that kind of about does it. So in the next video, we'll start kind of painting the propellers and we'll be using like a relatively lower resolution. And we won't really try to do too much with them. Maybe just kind of paint in a few lines on the propellers themselves. But for the most part, they'll be pretty straightforward. So I'll see you in the next video.